This video is brought to you by Porter Road. What do you see here? Save or out? Your first instinct was probably to say, Ty goes to the runner in an almost Pavlovian response and call him safe and look super smart by declaring that's what's in the rule book with a smug look of satisfaction on your face. But you're absolutely wrong. In fact, that rule doesn't exist anywhere. What? Yeah, the rule you've known since you've been 10 years old is a complete fallacy, 100% misinformation, and you guessed it, fake news. And I'm here to tell you why right after this. Real quick, please subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos on sports. So if I'm telling you Ty goes to the runner is wrong, we need to understand where that phrase, not a rule, came from. The colloquial saying comes from the Sandlot, from Little League, maybe even high school, hell, even your cul-de-sac where you crush tennis balls in your neighbor's hedges, and in general, any lower than professional level of baseball. It's used to end arguments, de-escalate or escalate fights among dads, and in general, provide some level of framework for a bang-bang play. Though ubiquitous in all of our lives, the one place you won't find the phrase is in the Major League Rulebook, or any baseball rulebook for that matter. Nope, go ahead, Google it. How about I save you some time and do that part for you? Rule 6.05J, a batter is out when after a third strike or after he hits a fair ball, he or first base is tagged before he touches first base. Rule 7.01, a runner acquires the right to an unoccupied base when he touches it before he is out. He is then entitled to it until he is put out or forced to vacate it for another runner legally entitled to that base. Rule 7.08E, any runner is out when he or the next base is tagged before he touches the next base. I know that's hella wordy and I just literally read it to you, but let's touch on the important bits of information. The rule states a batter is out when first base is tagged before he gets there, duh. It also states the batter is safe if he gets there before the ball or tag gets there. Basically, they are stating that the earth is round. Nope, we're not getting into that one. Notice they don't say shit about ties. That's because they're being quite clear that ties in baseball don't exist. Shout out to baseball doesn't exist. And they're actually right. If you were to look at it with a super high powered microscope, someone's cleat molecule got there first. So the rule is solid, I guess, except sometimes a clear winner is imperceptible to a major league umpire. Or if you're Angel Hernandez, where large moving shapes are unidentifiable to you. So you think that's the end of the story, but the omission of ties creates both problems and this dumb video that you're watching. Here's where the rule can be challenging. Since there are no rules around ties, what do you do when there is one? Well, if there was a rule, that would create problems too, again, who would the tie actually favor? Well, baseball actually got this right. There can only be two outcomes from a play, safe or out. Writing a tie rule would create a whole nother mess. But as a consequence of that, everything that is a bang bang play becomes subject to review or questioning. When does a fielder possess the ball? Is it in the back of the glove or when it meets the web? And if we leave these questions up to the guys in New York, well, we already know their answer is going to come up wrong. What's that? Geely was a good movie. Dez caught it. OJ was innocent. It wasn't about oil. I'm not trying to be obtuse, but big league umpires aren't supposed to favor a tie going to a runner or the defender, but here's what they say about it. Tim McClellan cites rule 7.1. The rule book does say that the runner must beat the ball to first base. And so if he doesn't beat the ball, then he is out. Loosely meaning tie goes to the fielder. Another umpire, Jim Evans says, that a runner is out if the defensive team tags him or his base before he reaches it. The implication is if the tag doesn't occur first, not at the same time or after, the runner would be safe. So tie goes to the runner? At the end of the day, a call of safer out at a base is just that, a call. And left exclusively up to the umpire or the replay booth. And that's a scary thought. Again, it makes no sense. Why does the call on the field hold any water? Why do, why do they refer to the human who made the call when that's the very thing in question? Either way, if you're now angry that tie goes to the runner is not a rule, then I can't help you there. Your whole life is a lie. You probably thought Geely was a good movie 
and now you're wrong twice. But now you can go to your little league and start a fight and score a W when you tell them to bust out the rule book and look it up. See, you learn something you can use. Hopefully you know jujitsu too. Stop it right now! We will stop this tournament! This is stupid! If you wanna burn fat, build lean muscle, and cut out more carbs from your diet, you know what you need. That's right, meat, but it's time to graduate from eating meat on styrofoam trays and consume the good stuff more responsibly. For that, there's Porter Road, your trusted online butcher shop that was started by Chris and James, who had a mission to fix the broken food system. And for the last 10 years, they've fine-tuned the process to build a more sustainable system for the planet without using added hormones or antibiotics. All this meat is dry-aged and hand-cut, and let me tell you, it's delicious. You can shop Porter Road just like you were at a butcher shop and choose curated bundles that always ship for free. There's no commitment and you control the frequency. So after this video, head on over to porterroad.com forward slash five points and get $20 off your first order of $100 or more. Again, that's porterroad.com forward slash five points from the link below. P-O-R-T-E-R-R-O-A-D forward slash five points. Like the whole word spelled out.